My name's Aisley and I'm a chemotherapy nurse here at Clatterbridge. We know sometimes when you're due to start your cancer journey it can be a little bit overwhelming and you may feel nervous about that. We've made this video to try and give you an insight of what to expect and answer some of those questions that you may have. So once you've seen the consultant and the decision has been to start treatment and the regime's been decided, you'll then have an appointment with a pre-assessment nurse. During that appointment, they'll just get a general oversight of your past medical history and also go through the treatment regime again. Following on from that, we're gonna do your height and weight and we'll also send you for a blood test. These blood tests are the baseline to make sure that we're all good to go on the first day of treatment. There's different types of treatments. Treatment can be given in the form of chemotherapy, immunotherapy, targeted treatment, and also supportive treatments, which go alongside the other therapies. These can also be given in different ways. So for example, they can be given intravenously. Sometimes you'll be given with tablets, which you go home with, um, and sometimes it will be given in injection form as well. So all of the treatments are based on protocols. So some people might come for treatment every week, whereas others we might see every two weeks, three weeks, or even four. So depending on the regime, um, you will require bloods before each treatment, most often. These can either be 48 to 24 hours before. It's really important that you have these blood tests because we use them to make sure that you're well enough for treatment. My name is Steph, I am an Interventions Clinical Nurse Specialist and this is Pete, our patient, a line. It's a, a small, thin, flexible tube that is inserted into either the top of your arm or here in the chest area. The lines are inserted under local anaesthetic. We can give IV fluids, IV antibiotics and most importantly your chemotherapy and we can also take your blood from it as well it's a very safe way for you to have your treatment. It eliminates the, the need for frequent needles. So having a, having a line in, it is your choice. Uh, you don't have to have one. And what we're here for is to have these conversations before you start your treatment and also we can revisit it later on in your treatment. I'm Rachel, I'm the ward manager at the chemotherapy treatment unit over in CCC Liverpool. Patients come for chemotherapy, immunotherapy, we also have clinical trials on the floor as well. We try and provide a really relaxed atmosphere here. A lot of patients report that they can't believe how comfortable it is. They become like friends, we have a chat, we catch up, we know like what's going on with their family. We're in a really good location here. Patients can come by public transport. There's also the Paddington car park and we have a shuttle bus that comes quite regular. There's also the Cancer Information Support Centre and there's staff available if anyone needs any support in, in lots of areas. So every patient that comes through the door always reports that they, they were dreading the moment that they start the treatment and they always say to us after cycle one, that wasn't as bad as I expected, the girls and the boys have made it an enjoyable experience if they can say it like that. We're there every step of the way with them, so don't, don't worry too much because we're there to support you through whatever you need. Each treatment does come with a list of potential side effects. We always put emphasis on potential, so it's not to say that it's going to happen. Chemotherapies, for example, there's the general fatigue, bowel issues, so perhaps constipation or diarrhea, and also the risk of infection, so your immune system is lowered. With immunotherapies, some of the side effects are a little bit more intricate, so there's things, again, such as bowel output, but also in relation to your skin, so any skin changes, redness, rashes, itchiness. So say you're not due treatment and you experience a side effect and you think, I need to highlight this, Clatterbridge have a Clatterbridge chemotherapy alert card. We also have an immunotherapy alert card as well. Um, on these cards, there's a number on the back, so it's an 0800 number, and it's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week service called the Hotline Service. It's run by registered nurses within Clatterbridge and you can call them at any time. Unfortunately, some of the chemotherapy treatments can cause hair loss in alopecia form, so it is total hair loss. This understandably can be very upsetting, especially when you're going through so much. So for some of the drugs we do offer, the cool cap service, this is one of our cool caps. So this is the inner cap. 
What happens is it's applied to your head before treatment and we allow it to cool down. Once we've got the good fit, we pop an outer cap on top so it is quite compact. Some people get really good results from the cool cap and they're really happy with them. Other people perhaps aren't happy with the results and may discontinue the use. If the cool cap isn't for you, Clatterbridge do also offer wig vultures and again we can give you more information on that, who accepts the wig vultures, how you can use them and a little bit on that. So we hope this video answered some of the questions or queries you may have had. If we have missed anything, please don't hesitate to get in touch with your clinical team, the chemotherapy nurses or check out our website.